What's going on guys, it's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're taking a look at the Lalo Tactical Bloodbird and Maximus Grinder. Lalo Tactical is actually a company that specializes in making tactical gear. These are part of their Buds lineup. The Bloodbird is designed to be a cross training shoe that you could run, jump, take all terrain and do weightlifting in as well. And the Maximus Grinder is supposed to be a spin-off of their normal grinder which is supposed to be their more flexible plyometric based shoe. The Maximus Grinder was designed with the help of Rob McDonald. He is the head coach of Jim Jones which is another strength and conditioning program. Both of the shoes look pretty similar. They have the same styled upper which is a synthetic material over this mesh. It's really lightweight and breathable. They both have the super fabric toe cap which is nice for things like burpees. Both of the shoes feature a heel counter which is not TPU, it's just the same kind of EVA foam that makes the outsole and midsole. The outsoles of the shoes have these little pods that are meant to increase grip in certain areas of the shoe. It's the same for both shoes. Personally, when it comes to looks, I prefer the look of the grinders to the Bloodbirds. I think the Bloodbirds have a little too much going on, but this forefoot of the Bloodbirds is more flexible than it is on the Maximus grinders or the grinders in general. These shoes are made for all terrain so the uppers are extremely breathable and they're well ventilated so if you get water in them the water will just drain right out. The Bloodbirds were originally supposed to be the weightlifting shoe of Lala Tactical's lineup so it goes grinder at 50 shore EVA then the Bloodbird and then the Maximus grinder at 65. When it comes to depressing the heel you can see that I can depress the heel of the Bloodbirds pretty easily. When it comes to depressing the heel of the Maximus grinders, it, it requires a little bit more work, but I can still definitely do it. More so on the edges, less so in the middle. The insoles of the shoes are both paper thin and just give a little bit of comfort. So when it comes to sizing your Bloodbirds or your grinders, I'm gonna say that you're gonna wanna go half a size up from your typical running shoe size. The drop on both of these shoes is five millimeters, making them still minimalist shoes. They call it an active drop because of the way that the midsoles compress. When it comes to the performance of the Lilo Tacticals, I'm gonna say that the Bloodbirds are a little too soft to do any serious weight training on. These are great for running, which was actually pretty surprising. They're good for Metcons, but when it comes to any kind of heavy lifts, these are gonna be a little bit too soft. So I would stick to Metcons, running, and maybe even the occasional trail. Since the Maximus grinders were designed for lifting, these are going to be obviously the better shoe for lifting, but that still doesn't make them the best shoe for lifting. They're just, in my opinion, acceptable for lifting. Can you squat in them? Sure, you can squat in them. Can you deadlift in them? Sure, you can deadlift them. But there are a lot more options out there that I would rather choose than the Maximus Grinders. If I had a recommendation of where these shoes would fit, it would be, once again, more of just a Metcon shoe, running, trails, plyometric movements, and wads. Honestly, the most surprising thing about these shoes is their flexibility. That paired with the fact that they're just under eight ounces per shoe, and there's a good enough amount of cushioning, but it's not overboard, make these, in my opinion, really, really good running shoes. Even the Maximus grinders that have a slightly stiffer midsole are really good running shoes as well. I've done a bunch of wads in these shoes, and I think they're great for that. Remember, you can't rope climb in these shoes because it'll just tear up the outsole. But if you're looking for a pretty good alternative wad shoe, then the Lalo Tactical Maximus Grinders are pretty good. The Bloodbirds retail for $130, the Maximus Grinders retail for $140. For my money, I would spend the extra $10 and get the Maximus Grinders because overall they're just the better shoe. You can run, they're lightweight, you can lift in them, though there are still better options out there. These are still okay for lifting, and in my opinion, they look better. With the Lalo Tactical Shoes, it really depends on if you like the way they look, they're pretty tactical. If you're looking for an all-terrain shoe, something that you can actually take in the water as well, and then do some lifting in, do some running in, then the Lalo Tacticals are going to be the shoe for you. They're pretty decent shoes, though they're just not the best shoe for CrossFit. If you guys have any questions about the Lalo Tactical Shoes, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and as always guys, thanks for watching.